Hey everybody, it's me, Jerry. And it's about 16 degrees outside and I'm standing out on my deck. And what am I doing out here? It may seem a little odd to you, but I'm actually planning my 2016 garden. Uh, not vegetable garden or anything. Um, uh, those of you who uh, know me a little more personally know that uh, I, uh, I enjoy landscaping and gardening quite a bit and my yard it uh, it uh, some people say it's quite a showpiece kind of proud to say and uh, the thing is and why I'm out here planting my 26 garden garden now uh, in the middle of January is because uh, a yard or a garden like that just doesn't happen because I get a lot of people to come over to the house and they say wow you're lucky you got you know you got a place like this well luck's got nothing to do with it it's a lot of work um, both me and my wife you know we put a lot of time into uh, into our yard and and uh, we we really we enjoy when people enjoy it but yeah so but as you can see everything is covered with snow and ice right now but in about I don't know two three about three and a half let's say four months from now uh, things will be ready to uh, start planting so I always around the gen around this time of year I start to get really antsy and really uh, impatient and start to think about what I'm going to do next year or you know this year um, in the garden and I actually I start planning last year when the, everything is in full bloom I just kind of go ooh, I kind of like that that didn't turn out so well I'll try something different and then uh, and then when the uh, the seed catalogs start coming in the mail, that's when I start getting really excited. I start to go, ooh, I don't know, look through there and start to think about what would look cool. So, one of the things I'm going to change um, is, well, you know, I've got these uh, sort of patio lights here going. I'm going to continue these, but I also have, you can see, these, um, these shepherd hooks here. Uh, you know, I put hanging baskets on those, and they're they're good. But I like to have really big hanging baskets with just tons of flowers just pouring over. And what I found is these don't hold very well, like the really large stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to put these four by four posts on all the corners of the deck, and they're going to be four by four big, sturdy, meaty posts. And then I'll be able to put multiple hanging baskets on there instead of just one and the thing bending forward. I'll put several, then I'll put these decorative ornamental brackets on there. But that's just one of the things. But um, yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the deck is really, uh, it's covered in snow and everything. And so, but yeah, I plan on every, everywhere where there's uh, like these shepherd hooks, I'm gonna put those posts up and then rehang these uh, these lights. And uh, last year, I left this vine. You know, every year it, it always seems to come up and want to grab a hold of that. And I always cut it back. This really this vine here. And this and last year I just let it go, and see where it went. And sure enough, it went all the way down. And I was surprised. Not only did it go all the way that way or this way, but that way as well. And it's about to. But I think a squirrel got a hold of it because the cable is uh, is uh, been chewed over there. So I'm going to have to uh, fix that, and uh, and we'll go from there. But you know, down here, on, you know, there's a there's a we have a deck and we have a patio down there, and uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of changes down there to the patio um, over in that area. Uh, there's a uh, sort of a hosta area there. there. We have a lot of hostas uh, at our place. I counted uh, almost 200 uh, one time, and they just keep 
getting bigger and bigger in every year. And this year, last year we had split and gave away a whole bunch of them. And this year we'll be doing the same thing. So if you're in my area, any of my friends or family, and you want some hostas, contact me because I've got about seven different varieties and some really nice ones. Contact me and you can come over with your shovel and some buckets and you could have all the hostas you want, literally. So that's going to be the plan. I'm going to redo the, uh, the uh, sort of window box, deck boxes for the flowers. I'm going to make them a little bigger, a little deeper um, this year. But um, yeah, that's the plan. That's what I'm doing. I know it's, it's early, but I'm excited and, you know, uh, spring cannot come fast enough for me. I hate winter and they, I just hate it. But I love being outside, but anyways, that's the plan. And uh, I know I got a lot of friends and family out there who are into, um, into gardening as well. Uh, Catherine, how you doing? Uh, Roscoe, he's the succulent man. So, anyways, that's it for the winter. And I'll check back with, well, you'll see me in other vlogs, but I'll give you progress on uh, how things are going and what my plans are. So, everybody, stay warm in your neck of the woods because it sure is cold in mine. All right, bye.